Welcome to Factorize with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about row number function in a close door. So row number returns the current rows index in a serialized row set. So the row number index starts with the default one, and then if you want to increment by one, that's what's going to happen by default. But there is an option you can start with the different number as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this row number function works. So here I have some data and uh, I'm going to create this table called total sale. So this total sale has a few of the records and uh, we are going to insert that data and then uh, we are going to play with the row number function. So I inserted a, a few records there and now let's take on total sale data. So I just selected the table name and then execute and uh, that's what I'm getting. Now, if you see that uh, ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, so they are really in different random order. And now what I want to do, I want to create a unique number here. So that's a sequence number that I can create by using a row number. So see right there, I have a total sale order by ID. So if I can go ahead and execute this, it's going to execute uh, the ID is like that, okay? But now I want to add a column on the right side right here after the region. So I use the extender here and that means that give me all the columns but also add a new column called RN. And then I said the row underscore number did not put anything. So I did not provide any starting point and all that. That means I'm starting with one and incrementing by one. So you can see right there. One, two, three, four, five, and uh, all that sequence number is uh, there. Now, same thing we can do if we need to add a starting point. Let's say I want to start with 100 instead of a 1. So I can do that as well. So here is my query. Whatever the result set it return, then I'm going to add uh, this uh, extend and uh, a new column called RN and row number starting with the 100. Now you can see right there, it started with 100 and then incrementing by one. So you see right there, that's what is happening. Now, we, if you notice right here, uh, in the total sale, uh, I have a uh, multiple uh, regions. Uh, so I'm gonna execute this query and uh, you can see that I'm ordering by region and ID. So see right there, that's my North America region. And then I have ID one, two, three, four, and 12. And then I have Europe and uh, there is a uh, 9, 10, and 11. So there are some duplicate records as well. Now, what I would like to create, I would like to create the row number for each of the region. So it should start with one, and for the next, uh, once, uh, let's say for North America, this is one, two, three, four, five. And then when the Europe comes again, it should start again with number one. So that's possible by using row number function. So here, what we'll say extend or n row number starting from one, and then uh, we are using uh, here a uh, previous function uh, that we are telling a uh, region not equal to the previous region. So see right there, Europe and this will be, that's where they will be changing. So they're not equal. That means uh, then start over again with the number one. So you can use a previous function and with the row number function to gather to generate a unique uh, number sequence for each of the region. So that's what uh, we can do as well. And you can see right there for North America, one, two, three, four, five. And then for Europe, it is starting over one, two, three, four till Europe here. And then for Asia, it is starting over again. So this is how you will use the row number function in Costo to generate sequence numbers and for you know, for entire result set or by the specific region or for specific columns value depending upon whatever you want in. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.